Hello, I'm Lisa. And I'm Rupert. And we're from All About Greens. And today we're cooking one of my favourite dishes, which is a Hungarian vegan goulash. We're using some of Linda McCartney's uh, chorizo style sausages in it, which work really well. But we also love the vegetarian butcher's uh, vegetarian sausages, which have got a lovely smoky taste to it, which complement the dish really well too. Yep, super simple dish. Easy for a meat-free meal, everyone can get their hands on vegan sausages. Get all the ingredients out and ready, get them all prepped, and then it's super easy to follow the recipe and cook it to finish. In with the oil, two to three tablespoons on a medium heat. Now we're gonna sweat off the onions for three or four minutes until they start to go translucent. Then in with the carrots and celery. A pinch of salt to help break those down and then in with those lovely colourful peppers. Bit more salt and pepper, chef. And then in with some minced garlic. And sweat all these vegetables off to combine the flavours. Paprika. Tomato paste. Dijon mustard. And a good slug of red wine. Add a can of tomatoes, or fresh tomatoes if you like. And some lovely stock. And let all those flavours combine there and simmer away for a good five minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna make the dumplings. So we've used some dried herbs here. Vegetable suet and plain flour. Mixed to a soft dough. We don't want it too wet, but we want it all to come together nicely. And I like to roll it out into a little bit of a log so that we can portion those dumplings up nice and evenly. Then we're just going to roll them into little balls. We're adding the sausages in now. They've been pre-cooked, but you could actually use meatballs here too. And then in with those lovely fluffy dumplings. Spread them out nice and evenly because they're going to probably double in size. Lid on, 15 minutes on a medium heat, those buck dumplings are going to puff up beautifully. Then into the oven for a final 10 minutes, about 180 degrees, just to get a bit of a crispy top. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, those dumplings look lovely. They've cooked nicely, almost doubled in size, and they've soaked up that lovely juice from underneath. Yeah, it's a great way of adding texture to your dumplings, steaming and then putting them in the oven. We're going to serve this with a little bit of mashed potato and a nice sprinkle of fresh chopped parsley over the top. Absolutely delicious winter dish, really quick and easy to put together, and the family are gonna love this one. Looks so hearty. Bon appetit.